is music becoming too explicit? So this was actually a topic that I created. Uh, and it's based off of a song called Throat Baby. Yes, the song is called Throat Baby by a dude named B.R.S. Cash that spells cash with a K. <laughs> so I always heard this song, Throat Baby. Uh, it's something that I've heard in clubs, but I really didn't know what the hell he was saying. I thought he was saying Go Baby, which by the song, by the way, the song's called Throat Baby, uh, parentheses, Go Baby, close parentheses. I never knew what he was saying. I thought he was saying Go Baby. And I'm like, that is beautiful. That is nice. He's actually trying to hype his woman up. Then I found out the name of the song was Throat Baby. Throat Baby. And I realized after listening to the lyrics, it is as vulgar as it gets. And the reason why the song has become even more relevant is because the baby and City Girls hopped on a remix to it. And now it was trending on Twitter and Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. So given everything that I said, given the fact that you listened to the song with me a couple hours ago, how do you feel about Throat Baby and just how vulgar hip hop music has become these these last couple of years, I would say. Years. Huh. Uh, well, well, thank you for setting the stage. That was a hell of an opening. I mean, to be quite honest with you, like we talked about, um, like you said, before the show started, uh, first and foremost, the, the song is extremely explicit. And I think that's where I want to start because ultimately we are entering into a new, I think, era uh, of music and just visuals in terms of music where they're, they're telling a story, they're giving you their perspective in music where they're not even trying to sugarcoat. They're not even trying to hide or just to be delicate in how they're giving you certain messages in the music. Movies is another, but that's a different genre, so I won't touch on the movies too much. But music in general, you know, it, it's definitely become... I would say more readily available and more explicit and, and potentially problematic from the sense of uh, streaming is here, right? There's a whole, there's the playlist era. There are more opportunities for people to basically access music in general. So it could potentially be problematic uh, from that standpoint, but I can't help but to bring up the, the WAP Cardi B song and Cardi B featuring Megan Thee Stallion song uh, that they put out last year to 2020, where uh, they were basically bragging about their vaginas and basically saying how wet it was and basically saying why, yo, this is why your man wants me and yada, yada, yada. And while there is a legitimate, I think, benefit for women uh, and real movement that women are having to empower themselves, which I won't speak too much about because, I listen, to be quite frank, I'm not a woman, and there might be some things that I'm missing, and hey, that's fair. However, I think one thing is, is definitely a fact, and it's that music is becoming way too explicit. And I know what the freaking, uh, the, the conspiracy theorists slash devil's advocate people in this conversation are going to say. Um, you know, Uncle Luke, the Miami era. They were way explicit. The the Snoop Dogs and the, and and all of the women back. Sorry, all the rappers back in the nineties, uh, basically being so misogynistic in the music, saying you know, uh, you know, telling women to get on their knees. Akinelli, put it in your mouth. Uh, the list goes on. To be honest with you, uh, uh, what's the what's the chick's name? Uh, getting some head. Um, sorry, that's actually a Snoop Dogg. I'm sorry. Uh, a too short, uh, too short Shauna. Too short, Shauna. That's the name. But who's the other chick? Who's the other chick who had that one song? Kia. Um, Neck and Kia. Back. There you go. Boom. The explicit version of, of these songs is, I mean, come on. It would fit right in with today's music, if we being real. So I do believe there's a track record of music being explicit. But to me, I think where, it, where we go a little bit left field with this song, you're talking about the BRS cash with a K dude, is... Just the 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 way it's just being thrown in your face, like 
they're not even trying to hide the explicitness no more. They're not trying to. It's like, we, it seems like that's actually what they're going for. So the more explicit your song is, the more explicit your visuals are, it's being rewarded. It's being rewarded. I don't know how I feel, man, because in one respect, I like... I like it when the visuals are raw. I like it when the songs are raw. It really, it really sh gives a certain type of feel and, and I think essence to the music. But I do believe it's kind of going a little bit too far. I do believe that. Um, so, so what do you think, man? Do you think it's going too far? Or do you feel like where it's always been where it's at and there's no issue? Jesus, this is the this is the first time I wish you didn't use the word raw. <laughs> it gave me a damn visual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, throat baby. Look at look at But uh I mean I mean listen listen if we're being real if we're being real <laughs> Raw is involved in that song throat, Okay baby. come on man okay Can there be anything other than wrong? Wrong? I'm listen, just saying I'm just listen, saying okay? Are you trying to play by play a porno right now like come on man <laughs> <laughs> All right um yo hey man, that's that would be a hilarious concept a play-by-play -play porno <laughs> that's true <laughs> Why no, you, come up with you, that? Just came, you just came up with a great idea that's a great idea play-by-play <laughs> -play porno oh my god did you see the way he to the right whoa <laughs> look at the way she put her leg up she oh my god she's definitely a stallion <laughs> I mean, anyway go ahead go ahead uh so uh uh i don't even know what you're talking about oh yeah <laughs> Throw baby. So, you know, in one sense, you got to appreciate the, um, you got to appreciate the vulnerability that an artist is able to show in their music. And like to be able to, you know, talk about things that are otherwise uncomfortable to talk about in public. There is something that needs to be admired about that. But then at the same time, there's a level of, you know, distastefulness. I, I'm going back to that word again. Disgusting a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So I'm what I'm going to do, because you, you made all great valid points, what I'm going to do is actually dive deeper in your comparison with WAP and uh, Throw Baby. So WAP, I think, has a purpose of uplifting women, making sure that their bodies are temples, like letting them know that. Um, and then just understanding like there's this level of power that women have in any situation, in any scenario, especially in the bedroom, that women should feel like queens, power. They're so used to being muzzled and they're so used to being told like you can't be sexy while these other men are. So I, I see value in that. With Throat Baby, I don't know if I necessarily see value in hearing a guy describe what goes on in his bedroom with another chick, getting in serious detail. Like that's to me as personal as it gets. Like who does it benefit for you making throat baby? Who does it benefit? Does it benefit me, you? Yes, the song is tight, but you don't have to say throat baby. You can make any song that with the same melodies, the same uh, beat, whatever. But, like, when you make a song called Throat Baby, like, what do I benefit knowing what you do in your bedroom? Like, you know, to me, it, it, it it's, 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 it's meaningless a little bit. And it's, it's a little too personal, in my opinion. And then also, like, when you talk about Throat Baby, like, it's really, like, talking about, like, the recipient recipient of stuff <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like and to me like if i'm a if i'm a so so here's my issue if i'm a woman like is that supposed to be an honorable title like am i supposed to strive to be the greatest throat baby on the planet like senior throat baby like is that is that like something that like you see what I'm saying? Like, there, if you, if a woman says this song is amazing and like, I want to be his throat baby, like what? Yeah, look, look, look. You know, here's, like, here's, here's the bottom. Like here's a, the bottom. A dude, right? What's the comparable yeah, to a dude? Sorry, my bad. What's comparable to a dude? Like, 
like if a woman said like you're gonna be my face sitter <laughs> well, it was always called face sitter uh you know hey i'm gonna use you as a face or, or, or i'm gonna sit on your face and you're, you're on that chair like you're a chair <laughs> you think that i'm gonna oh hell yeah i'm a chair yeah I'm like come on man like to me yeah, what's the equivalent? What's the equivalent of a dude? Would it be to like me, if this was like if this was a woman, if this was a woman making a song about a guy, right? Mm -hmm. would, would it be the equivalent of uh saying you're her her tongue baby? Like what what, what what's the equivalent? Like how do you you get what I'm saying? Like I, exactly, I, exactly. But but you know what, but you know, as you were talking, you know what this reminded me of and, and why. I feel like music is number one powerful, and secondly, sometimes it's just kind of stupid. Like, yeah. you know, like we don't need this. Yeah. What, like, what, why do we need this? Like, if this was, if we were doing a segment of music where we were saying, "Yo, do we need this, or should we, or should we get rid of this?" That should be maybe a new segment. We'll come up with a cool name. But do we need this, or should we release this? What like this is not beneficial to me. Like I just don't see the purpose. So unless this is a soundtrack, unless unless this is a soundtrack for the newest porn series coming out, like I, I just don't see where this is useful. So do you think we need WAP? I mean, look, I I was on record. I was on record uh, back then when when the song came out. I was just like, eh. I mean, listen, I'm not trying to get in the way of women's empowerment and, or whatever, you know, women feel like that, is, that song is about. But no, I, I just feel like that's also a song that's unproductive. It's just not, there's no value to it. And then I, this is the point I kept trying to make at the time, which is the song is I. It's, it's, it's no different than how we're, we said what we said about the Danny Lay song. This snippet was I. I bet you what that song was was fire. We may actually appreciate maybe where she was going a little bit more. I don't know, but I do believe the quality and the and the message behind music changes the perspective. It changes how you receive whatever message they try to put out in the music. So I don't want to get. I don't want this to be a dive a deep dive on WAP, but no, I don't. I don't feel like WAP was uh, very productive either. I just felt like it was. We didn't need that either. We didn't need it. Okay. Hey, hey, hotties, hotties, take it easy on him. He's, he's, <laughs> he's blind. Take it easy on him, hotties and uh, hey, bodies and whatever all the people that follow. Hey, him. make sure, make sure you at me uh, and uh, you at the, uh, at him too, because uh, I think it's important. Hey, I, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I just say, I, I like WAP. I think WAP. Hey, who, hey, hey what are the, what the museum, the, the greatest museums, <laughs> we should put WAP. In the greatest museums of America, like that. Yo, hey, can get, you, me, get, can, get me out of this. Can, can you stop doing the gestures of Donald Trump? He's no longer in president. Hey. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> Wap is the your greatest hands. song that I've ever heard, probably. Right. Hey, so is Throat Baby. Hey, anyway, okay, now you, now you just be a different. Throat Baby deserves to be in a museum somewhere. I don't know which what type of museum, but hey, don't they have porn museums at some point? <laughs> they, they might have a porn museum. As, it might be in Las Vegas. I feel like that would be the city it would be Listen, in if it was in America. Somebody with a spelling error in his name does not belong in any museum in my book. <laughs> a spelling error? He definitely did that on purpose. You talking about the cash? <laughs> so, so, so you knocking cash doll too? Cash doll got a K too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> does she have a spelling impediment as well? I, I did not apply for her to get on any museum either. <laughs> Yo, let's move on, though, man. Let's move on. Next time. Uh